this uh, on behalf of the uh, numerous uh, congregations yeah, around uh, uh, Gainesville that make our partners, come partners. Come come Alachua Habitat welcomes you to this house dedication for uh, Vaughn Kelly and Patrice Robinson. This will be our 127th home completed by this affiliate and the fifth interfaith project within the last five years. Um, we received this house as a donation from uh, Wells Fargo Corporation, and with us this evening is uh, Michael Autry, the district manager from Wells Fargo. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Wells Fargo. You're very great. <laughs> Generous contribution. We, we sussed it out before we said we'd accept the donation. With the help of uh, Ben Phillips and context that he made, we looked at it. We felt that there was some good bones here. We showed it uh, pictures to uh, Patrice and Vaughn, and they said, "Yeah, this is very close to where uh, Vaughn works, and very close to where uh, uh, Tatiana is going to school." Tatiana is what year are you going to take next year? What year in school? Are you going to take? Junior year at the IB program. Yes. At least I so this is a perfect match for them, so we're very happy for them. Like I said, this is an interfaith project, and uh, this is the fifth time the uh, faiths have come together. Uh, we've had a history of, uh, of the 127 homes, uh, probably 60 or 70 percent of them have been built by faith organizations. In our earlier years, churches and congregations used to sponsor a whole house and put their uh, congregants to work building them. So we have a rich, rich faith history behind all the homes that we built. Um, when we got this house last year, we started working in September or October. We thought we'd be done by January or February, but uh, ran into a few obstacles along the way. And, and uh, Patrice and Vaughn were so patient with us. And we arrived here at the finish line. Thank you for your patience. Um, I'd like to remind everybody that this house is not a handout. As Patrice, Vaughn, and Tatiana will tell you, they worked very hard on this house. Uh, they have put in 400 hours of sweat equity, uh, 200 hours in the combination of working on other people's houses, taking home ownership classes, uh, uh, budgeting classes, uh, under the, the strict rule of Christine Thompson, our family. <laughs> <laughs> And then 200 hours of sweat equity working on this house. And then, uh, as of tomorrow, they will be mortgage paying homeowners, paying the mortgage, paying that, that uh, uh, forward, that, the generosity that they received in the form of their house, paying that forward in the, in the form of their monthly mortgage payments. And, um, and becoming contributors to Habitat themselves. So we look forward for you to join us in, in that capacity. Well, our, our mission is to, our Habitat's mission is to put God's love into action, bringing people to, together to build homes, communities, and hope. And we do this in many ways. Our primary program, of course, is our home ownership program, where we build and rehab homes uh, for hardworking families who would not otherwise be able to qualify for home ownership. Why is home ownership so important? You think about it, uh, somebody who is renting their home does not stay in their home very long. Usually after a year or two, the landlord will come by and demand more rent. Maybe you can't afford that, so you move on. When you're in a home, you're in a home for a long period of time. Uh, how long is your mortgage scheduled to be? 20 years? 25 years? 25 years. So you know that Patrice and Juan are not going to go anywhere. So they're going to get to know people who live around them. And those people are going to look after them. They're going to want to make sure that Tatiana's staying on the straight and narrow, you can look out of the property, and then by getting to know their neighbors, they build a strong neighborhood, and strong neighborhoods build strong communities, and that's what Habitat is all about. You know, it's through projects such as this that Habitat enables families like Patrice and Juan to gain strength, to gain stability, and to gain self-reliance through the vehicle of shelter. We also put God's uh, love into action in that we join with residents and other agencies to build communities through neighborhood revitalization. Currently, we're working and focusing on the Greater Duval neighborhood, where we uh, aspire to listen to what the residents' wishes and desires are for uh, transforming their neighborhood and do what we can to put that into action. The cornerstone of all of our projects is community involvement and support. 
support, and that is what we and Patrice and Vaughn come here to, to, to celebrate this evening. Interfaith projects are outstanding examples of our community coming together. Uh, just If you just look at the program, you'll see the numerous different groups that have come together. We have Wells Fargo, uh, a community sponsor. We have the uh, Latchford County's State Housing Initiative Partnership Program that has enabled Patrice and Vaughn to, to supplement them with uh, down payment with uh, down payment assistance. Uh, we have Home Ownership for All uh, through the Florida Realtors Association that made a financial contribution to the renovation of this house. And we have Lowe's Home Improvement who uh, came to us in October and said, we have uh, about 25 days to give away $7,500 worth of building materials. Where could you use it? We used it on Patrice and Vaughn's house, so we have, it's that kind of support. And then we have all the faith organizations that you see listed at the program uh, that have come together to do fundraising, to do volunteering, and to lead the charge and lead the, the effort in our, in our prayers. I'd like to introduce a vital member of our Habitat team, uh, Christine Thompson. Christine has dedicated over 30 years of her life to helping families attain better lives. She's a dedicated professional who has a heart as big as the moon and is always looking for ways to help families. She's here to introduce Patrice Vaughn and Tatiana, as well as their family support partner, Fred Johnson. So, Christine? Well, listen, these guys here have been just remarkable to work with. When I, when I think of Vaughn, and Patrice, I think of grace, I think of appreciation. They have been so hard working on this house and so engaged, and I know Interfaith Volunteers have, have experienced that piece with them. They have done everything that's required with our home ownership program, and it's, it's not an easy program. There's a, there's, there's a lot of things uh, that they have to stay in compliance with. They have to, they have to keep their debt ratio under 43%. They have to be willing to partner, which they've done on site, done their sweat equity hours. They have finished 10 workshops, ed educational workshops, that's going to help them be successful homeowners. And it has been our pleasure as a team from Habitat, and I know we all feel that way. It has been so great working with you guys, and we welcome you home, and we wish you lots and lots of good memories here. I'd just like to say a few words on the family support person. And I was working with Tommy and his family on the house that we just uh, just dedicated a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I got a call and asked if I could come down and be the family support person here. And I was a little hesitant to do so because Tommy and I are both Vietnam veterans. And uh, but I agreed to come down here. And it's been just a, a fantastic experience working with his family and just to watch his neighborhood evolve. When we came in here, the house next door was, was a shambles. Three to three houses have been paid in upgrade. This, this neighborhood has just uh, evolved since this house has come on board, and, mm -hmm. and this family is just fantastic. And I, I mean, I've seen Vaughn over on the east side, and my granddaughter goes over there, and they <laughs> kind of know each other. They don't really know each other at different graves, but they, they know each other. The east side is just great, and this, this house has just been a most wonderful experience for me to just watch the whole thing about the community. And uh, my fellowship is part of the interface, so it's also another blessing to be here. Unitarian Universalists, and there's a little work in the house on Monday and get some dinners. And so it's been just one of the most rewarding experiences being this family and getting us through that time that we had. And uh, their patience is just outstanding. <laughs> well, thank you, Fred. You know, one of the pleasures I have, this is an interfaith project, as I've mentioned several times, is uh, every month uh, uh, interfaith leaders gather around. Uh, the people who were supposed to be here to represent the interfaith people all had emergencies of various sorts and not able to come tonight. But it's been so great just to sit down. Well, Antoinette is, is a strong stalwart in that group. Uh, but it's been so great to just sit down and listen to uh, other people explain their faith and the traditions of their faith and uh, come to and have a dialogue with other people on how we can address our community's issues and uh, what our hopes and aspirations are for a community and that's for the world through the traditions of each one's religion. Um, I'd, ask, I'd like to ask at this time uh, if Ben Phillips, a member of our board, uh, who has a very strong Christian tradition, 
uh, to lead us in a house blessing. Let's pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we love you so much. We're so thankful to come here tonight, Lord, just to uh, be able to come together as a, a group here, Lord, and dedicate this home for the Robinson Kelly family. Father, we are we look back at our history of 30 years of, of uh, building affordable housing for families, Lord, and we just look back with pride, but we also look forward to the future, Lord, where we continue to uh, plan and build and continue to build the legacy of affordable housing and, Lord, bringing families together and, uh, Lord, just uh, realizing the, the American dream of home ownership. Father, we are just grateful for everything you've done here, bringing the many different church organizations together, Lord. Um, there may be differences in some beliefs, Lord, but one thing that uh, does not separate us is desire for everyone to come together for a greater good. And we thank you, Father, for that. Lord, we just ask that you would uh, put your blessings upon this house, upon this family. Lord, continue to build in their heart, build in all our hearts, Lord, just a desire to continue to serve, and uh, Lord, uh, make many, many more of these presentations uh, a reality. We thank you for all you do. We, uh, Lord, just look forward to uh, your, your grace upon us, and Lord, just uh, many more of these blessings. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Um, Habitat is a Christian organization has Christian groups based on the Christian belief that working in partnership with God and people we can build and repair homes and develop decent communities in which everyone can experience God's love. As, as an acknowledgement of these roots, uh, I'm asking Antoinette Ench, a uh, former member of our board of directors, a longtime supporter of Presbyterian builds as well as a stalwart, as I said, on the Interfaith uh, Committee to uh, come forward and present uh, the, a Bible to Patrice and Vaughn, as well as uh, some other gifts that she has crafted herself for the family. It's a, it's a tradition that Antoinette present a, a hand-stitched uh, hand uh, Afghan. Hand <laughs> Say that three times. <laughs>
for them to start the year.